Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video series I will talk about the amazing features of the Astra theme. One of the best themes for WordPress. There's a free version that has a lot of capabilities, but there are also premium upgrades and in this video series I will cover every topic. If you want to get one of the premium packages of the Astra theme, you can go to ferdycorp.com forward slash Astra. This is an affiliate link, so when you buy this through my link I get a commission, so thank you for that. Then you can choose a package and click on get started. You can pay with credit card or PayPal. Then you can download all the premium plugins, upload them to your website, activate them, and then through these tutorials, I will show you step by step how all the premium plugins work. If you like what you're seeing so far, please like this video. And if you want to see more upcoming videos, please consider to subscribe and click on the bell notification so you'll get an update when I upload a new video. Now let's get started. In this video, we will take a look at the header sections. So I go to the back end in the new tab, holding command or control. I go to appearance, extra options, and here at the header sections, it's not activated. If I go to the website and I click on customize, and I go to layout and header, you see site identity and primary header. So this is the primary header. And if I activate the header sections, and I refresh the page and I go to layout and header. You see above header and below header. And let me tell you up front that they're actually both the same. They have the same options. The only difference is that this area is above the main header and this one is below the main header. So I would never use them both. So everything I will explain about above the header can also be applied below the header. So I will save you some time by just showing one of the two. I can disable it, which is the case right now. I can enable it. And right now you see something here at the left at the top and here at the right. I can also say I want to have one area and then it looks like that. And you can place a few things here. For instance, the text HTML, you can change this. You can change this to your own email address. You can say, welcome here. Like this, you can have a menu and you need to assign it. You can have a search icon when people click on it, they can search and you can add a widget if you want to. And at some options, there are extra options. For instance, if I do search, you can have a slide search or full screen search. So if you click over here, you can type it over here. What I want to do, I want to have two areas and at the left, I want to have a menu. So section one is a menu. And section two will be search. That's okay. I want to create a menu really quickly. So I click on publish. Then I go to the back end. I go to appearance, menus, and I can create a new menu over here. I click on it and I say top underscore menu. I create it. And then I can create some custom links without a URL. So I do a hashtag and I say sitemap. Hashtag about us and one more contact edit and here I can assign it above the header. I save it. I refresh this area. I close this and now you see it over here, our menu and here we have to search. So that's what I like. I go back to layout header above the header. And we can configure this even further above the header bottom border, this border over here. You can change it to five pixels. You can change the color. You can remove it. I like to have one pixel. You can change the height. You can make it really high or like this. And when we have a sub menu, you can change the border. We only have a top border over here. And I like the color to be blue of the top border. So if I have a sub menu, I can see a blue line here on the top. And how do you want to display the sub menu? Fade, slide up. I like fade. Then we have the mobile header options display on a mobile device. If I click on the mobile and I uncheck this, you won't see it. Or you can display it and you can merge it. And what will happen? The two menus will be on top of each other. So here's the main menu below that 
you see the top menu. So this is what you can do. And if I would have one area with the menu, then you still see this over here, but you don't see a top area anymore. So that's how you can merge it. I will bring it back to two areas. And now you still see this over here. And you can say swap sections. So the left section goes to the right and the right one to the left. But since we use a menu, you see that over here. So let me check it. If I don't merge it, you see it on top of each other. So it will not apply the swap, I guess. Yeah, only like that on top, this one up, this one low or the other way around. But I like it to merge. So I merge it. And as I said before, uh, this will also be applied below the header with the same settings. So if this will be below header, then this area will be here below. Then we have the spacing. We can change that menu space, all that stuff. And here we have the border color. We can change that. We have the spacing, but we did take a look already at that. So as I said before, the same applies to below the header. Let me show you really quick. A menu, we need to assign it. But what I've not done yet, if I bring it back, I disable this. We can change the colors. So I go back, I go back, I go back to colors and backgrounds. Then I go to the header. Above header, we can change the background color to something dark like that. And then I can change the colors of the links to lighter or to white. When I hover over it, I can make it red or blue like that or grayish like that. All those colors we can change. And if I would have a text over here, so I go back and I go back and back and layout header above the header and the right section is a text then the text is still dark so how can we fix that i go back and back and back and two colors header above header and then i scroll down and the text color we can make it white and we can change the link color so if this is a link i can change it and the hover color so that's what you can do. We can also change the font size. Then we need to go back, back and back and then go to typography, header, above header. And then the font size, I can say 12, make it a bit smaller, maybe like uppercase. So that's what you can do in the sub menu. We don't have it, but you can also change the font over here. So that's what you can do with the header sections. I publish it. I close it and I take a look. This is how it looks. Some text and the menu and a dark background and a light text. I like it. And in another video, we will take a look at the sticky header and the transparent header and we'll figure it all out. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a ton of stuff. Feel free to like this video and to subscribe for more upcoming videos. And I hope you have a great day and you will see me next time. Bye bye.